All right, we've made it through another work week. It's the weekend. And that means it's time for us to go out and have some fun. This week we're up at Marini Farms. Right here in Ipswich. And you guys may remember we came here around Halloween time. We did the, uh, the corn, corn maze. maze. Yeah. So today is the annual Christmas tree jubilee here. Yeah, so. And also, Santa's here. Look what they did, they peel a hay. They made it into a giant Rudolph. Got the red nose. Antlers. Adorbs. And of course, Donna's favorite. Here she is, Molly. Ready? We're gonna go really fast. So we're gonna get it with up here. What they have is a what do you call it? A uh, like a it's a like a raffle, or? like a charity raffle yeah. type thing. And what it is is we buy tickets. You know, they're pretty much like a dollar piece. And if you see something you like, you would put one of your tickets inside the box. And next Saturday, they're gonna draw each of these and who call us cool. to say what we want because we plan on winning. <laughs> <laughs> so here's 10 for I you oh. and here's 10 for me. Yay. So should we double up on certain things or just put one in each? On whatever you like. Like a nice um, Christmas and July tree. Yes, I agree. I really dig this Santa, I don't know why, but... Beautiful. Oh, here's the picture. There we go. One. Oh yeah, that hat has my name on it. I mean, your name on it. <laughs> this one, yeah? Sure. Oh yeah, it's American Express one. That's a good one. I spy Reese's. <laughs> right here, here's the winning number. With a hey and a he and a ho ho With a he and a ho and a Christmas tree, oh, 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 he, 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 someone came and they found me and took me home with them, oh, I'm the happy. Hey, we got to double up on the scratch like a tree, obviously. Oh, no. Okay. Tasting and tours. You pick one of mine. Mm -hmm. Only because it's a cool looking Viking guy. Right? That's don't an awesome what, Don't know what we do with them, but it would... Okay, now I got two left. You got... I've got one left, and I'm going to put mine in this one for the scratch tickets. Okay. Oh, this is Harry Potter, right? Isn't yes. Harry Potter symbol? There's a Quidditch, and there's head Hedwig. That's cool. Did you do it? That no, one? I didn't. Yeah, I take, only take have one, one left. Take one of mine. One. Take one of mine. Please don't. Don't. Okay. Now, put it in for the Harry Potter one. Now, that is really cool. It's Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Look how pretty they dress me. Oh, lucky, lucky me. I got shiny bells that jingle and tiny little lights that tingle. Whenever anyone passes by, I make my life. There you go. One in here. One in here. And then this one here. Oh, there we go. Here's the one. Yeah, hopefully, Leah will win this one. That yeah. one will be for you. And one more last one. We're gonna, we have to put our... Okay. All right. That's it. And I wake my eye, oh, I'm the happiest Christmas tree. A Christmas day, wait and see. I'll be laughing happily with a ho, 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 he, he. With a hey and a he and a ho, ho, with a he and a ho and a ha, ha, with a ho and a ha. We're gonna stop off at the British Beer Company and grab some lunch. No, ooh. <laughs> what I really love is they have Harry Potter nights here. And uh, yeah. it's really cute because the kids can get dressed up and they Great. have like little decorations and they stuff. Could, they can bring their wands and uh And they have butterbeer. Yes, they do. Alright, this is my fish and chips. Dawn has got her and steak pie. Steak and ale pie, which I get without the mashed potatoes. Look at how yummy that looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we're back home, we wanted to show you guys 
our own apartment and how we've decorated this year for Christmas. I wonder if you can guess what theme it is. <laughs> so this is the first time that we've actually done like a theme and not just our Christmas ornaments and our tree that we've had for you know so many years. I was hoping when we went to Disney that we would get like a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. This is my Oogie Boogie. Um, but actually, we found that Walgreens, right here back home, has the best selection, surprisingly. And these are just some ornaments that I um, turned into Jack, some ones that we got from Disney in the Hallmark store. And then Oreo um, candy canes, which are black and white, which I thought were really cool. And here's our Jack, and what's this? And I think my favorite part this year is the um, lights that we got from Lowe's, which just sort of float around. And I made this wreath, this person eating wreath. And we did keep up our um, Halloween curtain because it just went so well. And this we always have out. This is um, a bowl that we got a while ago and of course a frame with our picture from a few years ago with Jack and Sally that we waited in line for like three hours I think. Not much over here and then oh, I have this mm -hmm. little coffin with this Jack hat of course came from Disney and then we've got a little Jack and Sally stocking and our picture from today with Santa and the mayor. A little snow globe, which is super cute. And of course, we've got Sally's cauldron full of candy, which isn't very full right now. We still have some left from Disney, believe it or not, um, last month. But there you have it. Here is our very creepy Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas decorating. Now we're down at Assembly Row in Somerville, Massachusetts, which is one of our favorite places to hang out. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's all the way up to the top, too. Beautiful. And this is what we're going to see. I know I've seen this before because I've read this. Uh, I looked interesting. Christopher Hines in it, so that's good. This is the one that I can't wait to see. Look. Ferdinand de Gaulle's still not out yet. These are the private seats that we always get. Here's Donna's seat, there's my seat, I got my own popcorn stand, and this is our view, which isn't bad, you know, we got a lot. And here we have the little pins, they're Miguel and Dante, um, and when you're an AMC Stubbs member, you get little perks like this. Um, we got these for free, and see on the back it has the little Mickey um, pin back, like they have um, the collector's pins at the park, so it's pretty cool, and free. Okay, would you see Coco? Oh my gosh, so... <laughs> it's one of those uptight movies, like like Pixar's Up, where... You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, but it especially hit a nerve for me because of the type of work that yeah, I do. Yeah, So and, I was like a crying mess by then, I'm like, ah! And that's what I was thinking too, and I was... Certain parts I was thinking, oh god, this is what Donna does for work, and... Yeah, She's probably, water works, you know, I'm like... Really understanding, you know, what's going on through these people. Look yeah. at the lights behind us, isn't that so pretty? All it the pretty lights here. and stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. But it was definitely, I mean, the artistry, the artwork, it yeah. was just amazing. And before they showed... Um, oh my God, yeah, I was crying even before this movie started because they had the Olaf, Olaf movie. Um, short. Oh my God, that was so cute. They had to find like family tradition and it was like adorable. Yeah. And I cried at that too. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, I think that it was definitely a worth seeing. Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I love all, pretty much all Pixar's movies, except for a couple. I'm not going to name the few, just because people are going to be like, are you kidding me? You right. actually don't like those movies? Certain ones that I don't like, but overall for Pixar, this has been another really good movie. 
it was kind of like a roller coaster. It started off good to me, and then it was like, you know, about a half hour of kind of like down. It's kind of like, a little eh. bit, little bit dragish. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. But then the ending really, really picked up well. And, you know, like Donna said, you, you do get the waterworks at the end, which, you know, even I had to break out the tissue. And all, you, all of a sudden you hear people, you know, blowing their noses <laughs> and stuff. And, you know, yeah. but it was uh, really fun. Um, I think that's going to be about it for us for this week, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, next week is going to be really cool. We're going to go check out the uh, mansions in Newport, Rhode Island, which uh, is the... All decorated for Christmas. I think the Breakers is the uh, Rockefeller's summer home, which when you guys see this place, you're going to be like, this is their summer home. And I don't know if we got tickets to see... Rosecliff. I can't really remember. We'll show you next week. I think Rosecliff might be the one where they shot the original Great Gatsby from the 70s. I don't know if that's going to be is... one of them. I'm not sure. Who was we'll in that movie? See. The guy... Um... Robert Redford. Yeah, and Robert Mia Redford. Farrow. And Mia Farrow. But I'm not really sure. But it's actually like right down the street, so even if we don't get to go inside, we can drive by and hopefully shoot a couple pictures from in, from outside just to say that this is the house. But yeah, uh, I think along with all the public events, they have like a lot of private events too yeah. at the mansions. Yeah, a lot of weddings, which are probably like ridiculous. And holiday expensive. parties and, you know. It's going to be fun, uh, but for this week, uh, it's Swifty. And Donna. And we'll see you next week from uh, Connecticut, from Rhode Island. Jesus. <laughs> see you next week in see Rhode you Island. Next week.